Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from Galaxies.dev and in today's video you will learn how to make your React Native applications at least a hundred times more epic. We're gonna add reanimated 3 and we're gonna learn how to animate the appearance of different elements like a text or a view in our application. And we will also use the reanimated 3 new feature of shared element transitions. So we will be able to transition from one screen to the next screen in a fading model, which comes from the Expo router, and then also animate between elements on different screens. It's gonna be epic and you definitely wanna add this to your own applications. All right, so let's get started with our app. I already created the new project using create expo app and we're using the expo router with file based routing. Then I installed the latest version of react native reanimated which gives us version 3. So if you're using npx expo install it won't give you version 3 right now. Uh, make sure you install really the latest version and then I also added the expo blur package which will help us to make a nice little blurred background. Additionally, we will later have to talk about pre-build or in a second because right now with the uh, Expo, what are we using? 48, right? And React Native Reanimated 3, it won't work with the Expo Go client. So hopefully this will work in the future. Uh, for now, we have to use a pre-build. Also, we need to make sure that the Babel config is updated correctly, but usually it should already look like this. So React Native Reanimated plugin is included. Now, to create our pre-build, we can simply run npx uh, expo pre-build and this will create our own dev client that we can then use. So what would you like to use? Yes, I'm going to use this as the bundle name. I don't really care about it. Updated metro config, uh, updated whatever. And I think this should hopefully work. So we can already let this run in the background. Mm. Maybe maybe we can already try the first part actually without using our custom client. But I want to just let this run. Uh, so yeah, here we go. Here's the iOS project, the Android project. There might be a problem with reanimated 3 on Android devices. I haven't tested this extensively. Uh, but here we go. Let's try and open this. Didn't, wasn't there like an option to open this directly in, in, visual, in, in Xcode? Huh. That's crazy. Um, anyway, uh, we can also just, when I go to the uh, expo, no. It should work automatically. Uh, well, reveal in Finder and open the workspace should do exactly the same for us. So here we go. I'm gonna run this on my simulator. And once I'm running this, it should also automatically open a new terminal, which is then serving our application. So I'm gonna put this to the side and we can continue with the actual application. Now, as we're using file-based routing, let's create a new folder called app in which we're gonna put all of our routes. Thanks again, Visual Studio Code, for not being very supportive today. So a new file, index.tsx, and we can already create the other files that we need as well. So we're gonna have a modal, let's call this modal.tsx, and we will also need a layout to define the different routes of our application. Now, in the index, what we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all create React Native Functional Export Index, and this one will be a very simple view. Um, view cannot be used as a JSX component. Yeah, this is a problem I lately had. Um, so really not looking uh, forward to that problem. Usually it meant, I uh, usually it meant we had some TypeScript issues. Uh, I think this should be fixed if I just run npx expo the first time. Uh, yes, yes, I want to install TypeScript. Please do so. Yes. Nice. Uh, ooh, what was that? Some dependency compared with the export expo version. Yeah, React Native reanimation. Your project may not work correctly. So, uh, yes, in that case, I do have to do it differently. Uh, thanks for the information, but now the error is gone and also Xcode opened my terminal running Metro and also my simulator and we already, I think we can see there is an index up there. I think we can already see our app. That's good. So we are ready to build out that app. Uh, let me quickly bring in a few styles. Those are just going to be basic styles for that view. They're not really related to reanimated. I just want to make sure that we got everything in place here. So let's set this to styles.container 
And then we should already see, yeah, there's the index coming up. Uh, a bit small, but at least we see it. And now we're gonna add uh, a few things to our app. So let's start by adding a link. And with that link, uh, by the way, a link should come from Expo Router. Um, do you understand that? Uh, the link should actually open our modal page. Uh, by the way, we haven't defined anything inside here. So let's quickly add modal in here. Uh, there we go. And then we're going to add a pressable inside of the link. So if you want to have something with the Expo router, like a button, a pressable or text in here, you have to add as child here. And then it just wraps that component in that link. So I'm going to use a pressable. Um, I don't know, we, we're going to make an image in here. Uh, so let's add an image. The source for my image will be Ooh, that looks uh, no, I don't want to use it like that. So let's let's resolve the image in a kind of different way. Um, I do have an image in my assets folder here. So I just uploaded this, you can use whatever you want. And I'm going to add the following. So loading my image from assets image, and then getting the image using resolve asset source. Uh, this also requires us to add image from react native. And usually TypeScript will complain about this. So in order to fix that, what you can do is simply add a new file and call it something like uh, declaration.ts and then declare module uh, and then whatever your image is. So I think mine is a PNG or is it a PNG? Yeah, it's a PNG. So declare module star PNG, close this and then your page is going to be happy about this. So I can now set my source to Yuri, the actual image. And then we see, yes, the image is coming up. Nice. Uh, only thing is that, um, ooh, what was that? Oh yeah, I clicked on it and it opened the modal. That was actually pretty good. That was actually pretty good, nice. Uh, so can we go back? Yes, there we go. So let's focus on the layout quickly. I'm gonna call this uh, stack layout. So I just wanna have the default stack layout here for the app. Uh, so I'm adding the stack from the Expo router, um, closing it, and then we can define the different screens for our app. So stack screen name index is the first one. We usually don't really have to define that one, but for the index page, uh, for the index page, right, there we go. Uh, I wanted to set the header so I can say something like options, header, title, uh, header, title, home instead of index. So that looks better. Um, additionally, we want to have our modal displayed as a modal. So in order to do that, so right now it would just push that page, of course. Uh, we're going to set the options here to presentation. And then we're going to use, uh, we can use card, contain, form sheet, full screen modal, modal or transparent modal. And that's what we're going to use. Actually, let's try with modal first. So that will give us this effect. Uh, quite nice. This is, by the way, not really uh, related to reanimated. This is just the Expo uh, router. So transparent modal and the transparent modal will look like this. So, of course, it is horrible now, uh, <laughs> but we're going to fix that in a second. Uh, additionally, I want to add the animation fade. So if I do fade, um, it would just fade in the modal. Uh, of course, how can I try this now? There we go. It just fades in. And also, I don't want to have a header. So I'm going to say header shown false. So that's the first step. Now we've configured our modal. And on my modal page, I'm going to wrap everything inside the blur view that we installed initially. So I'm going to use the blur view from Expo Blur. I'm going to set the intensity to 40. Feel free to play around with that. And we also need some, some styles again. So let me already add those styles. We're going to talk about them in a second. Uh, and of course, you can find all of the code on galaxies.dev if you want to check it out. So let's finish the blur view. Let's see. 
Uh, okay, we got this one up here. There's not really any content and we're already also not using the style yet. So let's use styles.container and there we go. First part. Now, as we can see, the modal fades in and uses this blur background. That's already cool in itself. So the the shared anime uh, the shared transition we're gonna add from reanimator is actually just an additional cool thing to make this even more awesome. This is already a, a pretty nice start. Now I'm gonna wrap everything in here in a pressable, and on press what I'm gonna do is I wanna um, not use window history back, but I wanna use the router. Uh, so therefore I'm gonna get the router, use router from Expo Router. And then simply say, hey, router dot back. Exactly. And I'm gonna close the pressable. And then I'm gonna add my text in here again. So if I now press somewhere, it should close the modal. So we have already achieved the first part, a uh, fade in modal, which is pretty cool, by the way. Uh, I should have made this just a tutorial. <laughs> Would have been enough for one day, wouldn't it? Uh, anyway. Let's go back and um, do actually some, some animations with the reanimated. So we can do a bunch of different things. We can do the shared element transition, but maybe let's try uh, something easy first. And that is, I want to animate the text. So let's say I have some text, React Native shared transition. Uh, let's call this shared element transition. And to make this animated, we can say animated.text. And we can import this from React Native Reanimated. And we can now define different things on this element. So React Native Reanimated, there are a few um, elements that we can use. Can I bring this quickly up? No, of course, I can't find this anywhere. So like text, view, scroll view, button, those can be animated or otherwise you can use with React Re uh, Reanimated. Uh, create component and then animate any styles of any other React Native component. Okay, entering animation, uh, we can use something like fade in, left, right, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna also add a duration of 400. Okay, so let's see. And this fades in nicely from the left hand side. Um, also, uh, do we need some styling? Yeah, let's give that text a bit bigger font size. So let's add style, styles.text. Okay, nice. That looks good. So this fades in from the side. We can also give this a little delay if we wanted to. So that's way you can build up your whole UI with different things. So if I wanted to do this, I could now also add another uh, one using fade in down, for example, and a bit bigger delay. And as a result, this now comes in like this. So this comes in from the side and a tiny bit later, we get this card at the bottom coming in. And by creating this, we already can make that view pretty epic. Like we have this blur view and stuff coming in. I think this is, this is already pretty awesome. Um, but we wanna take this, of course, a step further and now talk about shared element transitions and you're gonna be surprised how easy that part actually is. So let's add the same image we had in the index page to our model. Uh, I'm gonna add this here in the pressable. That also means I need the image stuff from our index page and I need to add the image from React Native. There we go. So, okay, of course, this model looks kind of horrible, <laughs> like it bumps. Uh, the rest look pretty cool, but that part is really like not really good at all. So how can we fix this? It is unbelievable easy. We just have to use the shared element transition tag. So let's scroll into this a bit. Uh, this is actually the old documentation. They have a new documentation. So just add the shared transition tag to the different elements and they're gonna be animated. So React Native Reanimated finds those different elements and creates the transition between them. Um, you can of course also create your own custom animation which you could supply with a shared transition style. But let's just do it for this simple example. Let's go to the index page. On that index page to my image, I'm gonna add, um, first of all, also making this an animated image. So once again, adding this from, oh, not React Native, React Native reanimated, please. 
There we go. Then using the shared transition tag, I'm going to set this to shared tag, doesn't really matter. And now I'm just copying this over. Actually, I could just copy the whole element to my model, to the image here, set this to the same thing. And let's try and, oh, I just crashed my application. How did I do that? Oh, I assume I just made it some kind of transition and during the transition I reloaded the app or something. <laughs> anyway, let's try again. Oh, so smooth. Have you seen this? Ooh, and it even works backwards. Like it's going from the blur back to being normal. This is so nice. And we could do this with basically everything. We could have like a header or something. Um, it's just crazy. Uh, let's see, I'm going to give my image uh, resets mode contain flex one. How do we actually get some, how do we get like the margin in here? Who added margin to this? Uh, it wasn't me. Well, that's also not really a lot better. Also, I just once again crashed my application. That's interesting. I'm, I've been able to crash my application with this. Anyway, um, we can also make, by the way, the background dark if you want to. So we can use something like tint and then call it dark. So then it looks even more epic. Uh, it looks like it's just crashing all the time when I press the background. Um, runtime reanimated. Is my runtime actually still working? I feel like I messed up something because previously this definitely used to work. Uh, so here's my metro. If I click this, it opens. If I click this, it closes. Hmm. Maybe it was just too fast with some stuff because it seems to work reliable, good. And this is exactly what we wanted to achieve. So now we have a shared element transition of our image using the Expo file-based routing. So it doesn't really matter what kind of routing we're using. It works with a new Expo router as well. Uh, as we can see here with the modal effect, we do get that modal effect basically uh, because our model has the presentation transparent model and the animation fade. So of course we could now play around with this and I don't know, fade from bottom. I actually don't know how that will look. Oh no, actually I think <laughs> our fade was already pretty dope. So go ahead, play around with this and hopefully you're gonna have some epic shared transition between the different screens in your React Native app. All right, so that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to shared element transitions with React Native and Reanimated 3. If you wanna see more about this, leave a comment and let me know what you would like to see because there's a whole lot more to discover with the Reanimated package and I'd love to create more tutorials because this stuff is just epic. So hope you enjoyed this and of course until next time, Happy coding, Simon.